are here at the 2021 commencement ceremony at Grand Rapids Community College, and we're going to talk to a few students who are graduating tonight because we're also streaming this live on YouTube and Facebook. So the first person we have is... I'm Kaylin Murdoch. And what are you graduating with tonight? Um, an associate of music degree. And you want to be in a symphony? What do you want to do with it? Teach with it? What do you um, do? I'm headed to Western in the fall to study music therapy. Okay, very nice. Yeah. And who do you have out there watching? Uh, my parents and my sister's actually right next to me, so. Well, you think she's going to watch it? Oh, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> okay. okay, sister, what's your name? Cameron Murdoch. Okay, what are you graduating with? A general business degree. Okay, and you're going to like be her manager for <laughs> music therapy? or? Nope, thinking about going into marketing, but okay. general business right now. Like the corporate world, that kind of what you want to do? Wherever it takes me. Okay, mm -hmm. so you all have the same family out there, I'm assuming. Yes. Similar family. Yep. Okay. You want to say hi to them? Hey. hey guys. Very nice. And last but not least, we have... I'm Marla Anderson. <laughs> and what are you studying? I have, I'm graduating with Associates of Art, and I'm going into teaching. Okay, and you're not related to them at all? They're my best friends, so okay, that's makes sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah, friends make the best family. Right, you know? <laughs> exactly. And uh, what do you, where, where, where would you like to do? And Teach like, any grade from pre preschool to sixth grade. Wow, that's brave. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Do you want to wave to your family out there? Who do you have? Uh, my mom, my dad, my grandparents, and all my other family. <laughs> oh, wow. So it's a big, big group. Big then. family, yeah. Okay, well, all of you wave to them. And now i got to find my other three people who like disappeared on me. Hold on one sec. I'm going to go grab them. Oh, wait. We can grab them. Want to be interviewed quick? Come on over. My other group like disappeared on me. Uh -oh. I lost something. Oh wait. Oh boy. There you go. There you go. Oh, okay. And what's your name? Al Hairston. And what are you graduating with tonight? Um, an uh, associate in uh, arts and science. Okay. What do you want to do with that? Well, currently I am a police officer with the city of Muskegon. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So finally I was able to um, get my degree. So nice. further my education in. Uh, Law enforcement, so. Okay, I mean, did you like the program here? I did, yeah. loved it, yep. Did you have a favorite teacher? Everything was online, so. Oh, okay, well, you yeah. can still have a favorite oh, no. teacher. Yeah, okay. yeah. I don't mean to put you okay. on the spot. No, you're fine. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a name, I'm like, ah. Uh. Uh, yeah, I can't think of a name. Yeah. Gary Ebels. Gary Ebels, I do like There that. you go, yep. Gary Ebels, we Gary, all know him. Yes. So. Okay, he's been here forever, so. He has, yes. So what family do you have out there? Um, I have, uh, uh, my mom is watching, uh, my dad's watching, all my sisters, um, uh, my fiance's watching, everybody's watching, so. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck out there walking. I appreciate it. All right, have a good one. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go back to you in the field house, and we'll see you in a few minutes.
we're back out here interviewing a few more students, and right here we have... Diana DeYoung. And what are you graduating with tonight? Secondary education. Ooh, so you're going to be a teacher. Yeah. So that would mean high school? Yeah. Oh, boy, brave person. <laughs> uh, who do you have out there family-wise? Uh, my mom and dad are watching. Okay. Yeah. YouTube or Facebook? YouTube. Okay, smart people. You want to <laughs> say hi to them? Go ahead and wave to them. Hi. Oh, that's so nice. You're so <laughs> nice to her family. Thank you very much. Okay, now moving over here, we have... Smith Sanchez. And what are you graduating with? I'm graduating with an Associates of Arts. Okay, and I, you're military? I yes, know? I am. Okay, so that we, we can tell that now by what you're wearing <laughs> you. on your neck. Um, so what are you going to plan on doing with that degree? I am actually going to Grand Valley to pursue a bachelor's in accounting and in financing. Nice. Very yeah. heady stuff. Thank you. And who do you have out there watching? I have my parents and my siblings all watching from home. Okay, what are their names? Um, names? Yes, they do have names. My dad's uh, Gabriel Sanchez, my mom's Tady, okay. my brothers are Brian and Israel, my sister's Liz and Gabby. See, now they're all famous on YouTube. <laughs> yes, they are. All right, you can wave to them if you want to. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your support, and I love you all. Wow, see, that was nice. You're a good Thank son you. and brother. <laughs> and next we have, this This guy was a little reluctant to be interviewed, but, you know, I was very thankful that he, he agreed to it. What's your name? Uh, Sean Chase. And what are you graduating with? Uh, ger uh, oh, shit. A communications degree. Okay, and I see you're also ex-military? Yes, yes, sir. Very cool. Thank you for your service. No problem. Thank you. And uh, what are you going to plan on doing with your degree? I'm going into journalism, going up to CMU. I thought that with the communications thing. You know, it almost seemed like a shoe in but, you know, you're never sure. Yes, sir. Yes, and, sir. And uh, who do you have out there? Uh, my brother, Joshua, and my niece, Aliyah, and my dad, Roger. Okay. You want to say hi to him? Hi, everybody. I love you. Oh, wow. That was sentimental. Hey, Thank I you. gave him something, yo. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, and next up we have, we think they're a couple, but we're not sure. And you are? <laughs> I think so, too. Uh, I'm John Longo. <laughs> and you are? Cassidy Cole. Okay, and what are you graduating with? Associates of Arts. What do you plan on doing with it? Uh, I'm not sure yet. going to get a bachelor's, but not sure what uh, university I want to attend for that yet. I'm, I'm going to bet it's her university. <laughs> <laughs> I you, don't know about that. <laughs> okay, what are you graduating with? <laughs> um, Associates of Arts. Okay, and what do you want to, what, what do you both want to do for your lives? Well, um, I was thinking about. Architecture. So we're actually moving to Ann Arbor, yeah. She just got accepted to the architecture school at uh, U of M, so. Okay. Um, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> That's a great town. And I'm yeah. hoping that she's okay with being the breadwinner. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just they kidding. Always, always <laughs> right? <hopeful. laughs> who, who do you have out there family-wise watching? Oh, lots. Um, well, um, yeah, mom, so. dad, Bruce. Um, um, my mom and dad, and then my grandpa. Uh, five brothers and two sisters are maybe watching. Maybe they are. I don't know. They said they are. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> all right, cool. Hi, if you are, though, love you guys. Just because they go ahead and wave to them. Oh, wow, blowing them a kiss and everything. Oh, wow. Okay, it looks like you guys are lining up, yeah. so Thank get you. in your right line. Yeah. Thank you very much. No problem. Okay, we're going to be coming in in a couple minutes, so watch out for the field house. Here it comes.
Okay, we're gonna sneak in three more people that really, really want to be interviewed. And the first one is? Juanija Ann Marie Brown. And what are you graduating with tonight? Uh, my Associates of Science. And what do you want to do with that? Um, I plan to go to vet school at Baker. Oh good, we need more veterinarians. <laughs> what, do, what do you want a specialty to be? Like horses, cows, dogs, <sighs> cats, what are you looking at? I'd prefer the larger animals just because a lot of people don't do it, so it'll give me a little more range. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And uh, who do you have out there tonight watching? <laughs> Probably mom, dad, and grandparents. Probably? I mean, you... I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, okay. Wanna, I'm pretty sure they're you all. You want to say hi to them and wave to them? <laughs> yes. Hi, guys. <laughs> I'm uh, doing it. <laughs> she's doing it. I am doing it. All right, and next we have Megan Postma. And what are you graduating with? Associate of Arts. And what do you want to do with that? I'm going to be starting at Ferris in the summer for uh, elementary education. Wow, another yeah. teacher. There's a lot of teachers coming yeah. up. There's going to be a lot of openings soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. And who do you have out there tonight? Mom, dad, grandparents. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, oh, just, oh, that's it. Just yeah. Mom, dad, grandparents. Yeah. Same with you. you know? <laughs> okay, well, say hi to them. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, we have... Ronice Eubanks Chambliss. And what are you graduating with? Um, Associates in Child Development. Okay, so you're going to go for the younger kids? <laughs> yep, yep. And then I'm going to Western for my Family Studies degree. Very nice. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, who do you have out there tonight? I have my mom, my dad, my children, and my family and friends. So. Lots of people. More yes. than them, we just have parents and grandparents. Yes. It's been a long time, so we're excited. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Well, congratulations Thank again. Thank you. Looks like you're going to be walking soon. Yes. Okay, we're going to go back to you in the field house, meeting more people as we go. So we'll see you back there in the field house.
Live from the beautiful campus of Grand Rapids Community College in Grand Rapids, Michigan, we welcome you to the 104th Commencement Ceremony. I'm your host, Dennis Sutton, Language and Thought faculty member at GRCC. Today, we're celebrating the GRCC graduates with a special in-person and virtual commencement ceremony. Let's begin the ceremony by welcoming the GRCC graduating class of 2021. Now please welcome the president of Grand Rapids Community College, Dr. Bill Pink. You may be seated. Graduates, good evening. Okay, the, now let's establish something here real quick. So there are a lot of commencement ceremonies that are going on this year and have gone on for decades, if not centuries. And a lot of them are always filled with what we call pomp and circumstance, all the nice music and all those good things. And it's always calm and, and it's such a, you know, uh, like a, just a ceremony that's just stuffy. We don't do that at GRCC. Matter of fact, when we have commencement ceremonies, when we have this place packed with family, packed with friends, I encourage everybody to be as loud as possible. Now, graduates tonight, you don't have that crowd that's here in this arena. You have them virtually. And unfortunately, you can't hear them. So what I'm going to ask you to do tonight is I want you to be that cheerleader for the people sitting around you. That tonight, you have the license. I give you the permission, whatever that's supposed to mean. I give you the permission to cheer and to clap for your fellow graduates that are sitting around you. Is that a deal tonight? Okay. Thank you. Is that a deal tonight? Because there are a lot of people who are watching you right now, live stream from all over the country, and in some cases, possibly all over the world, that are watching this right now, and they want to be here so bad doing that for you. So what I want us to do tonight is I want us to be that for each other. Can we do that tonight? Okay. So I'll have a script. I'll stick to, I'll stick to most of my script. That's the, I'm just making a deal with you right now. So what's going to happen tonight, I'll stick mostly to my script, but everyone who's standing around here knows me, and they know that's not going to happen for long, just the way I am. So I'll do part script, and part it'll just be you and me talking. And what we'll do tonight is that we will celebrate a lot of other people. We'll celebrate a, a faculty member that is our what we call our Faculty Emeritus Award, which just... Uh, points out someone who did incredible teaching here. We'll also have our Distinguished Alumni Award tonight. And you'll see some other things happen. Then we're going to honor you in a big way. So we're going to spend some time together tonight. And the whole time, I want you to be focused on celebrating. And I want you to be happy for each other tonight. Because there are people all around the country that are happy for you tonight. And there are people on this stage that are happy for you tonight. So we're going to celebrate. Let me get to the, to the script, because if I don't, they're going to get mad at me. But that's okay. I'm the president. I can do that. All right, so welcome. 
Welcome to the 2021 GRCC Commencement Ceremony. This is our institution's 104th commencement celebrating the accomplishments of our graduates. This year, friends, there are over 1,400 students who have received a certificate or a degree that encompasses programs all the way from psychology to automotive technology and everything in between. We have over 400 graduates participating in four ceremonies this year, either in person or virtually. And to those graduates who are participating virtually, welcome. Glad that you are virtually with us tonight. It's a night of celebration. So we want to start by asking everyone, if you would, please stand for our national anthem. It will be performed tonight by Anastasia Ferenzo. She is a student in the GRCC Music Department. Please stand for the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glow the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the You may be seated. Thank you again, Anastasia. Beautiful job. Now I want to introduce to you who our guests are who are on stage here with me this evening. And please hold your applause till I complete my introduction of my three colleagues who are behind me. Dr. Brian Canetto is our Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs. Dr. Mike Vargo is the Dean of the School of Arts and Sciences. And Dr. Frank Connor is our Psychology Department Professor and Faculty Association President. Would you please give them a round of applause and thank them for their presence tonight. So please note that there are many graduates who are joining us virtually tonight, along with our esteemed faculty, dedicated staff, administrators, and our Board of Trustees. I encourage those joining virtually to use the chat feature to celebrate this major life, uh, life mil, uh, mi to celebrate this milestone throughout the ceremony tonight. I would also like to encourage the parents, family, and friends of our graduates. Thank you for your support that you've given each of these graduates. I'm sure these graduates would agree that they would not have made it to this day without you. Graduates, if you would, for those loved ones who are watching tonight, who have supported you throughout this journey, would you please give them a round of applause tonight? Graduates, it's now my pleasure to welcome to the podium our Provost, Dr. Brian Canettle, to recognize our Faculty Emeritus Award recipient, Dr. Canettle. Thank you, President Pink. In the spirit of celebration, our first honoree this evening is Professor Sandy Andrews. Professor Sandy Andrews served as a faculty member in the Physical Science Department for 23 years, working with students in the classroom and serving as department head for 11 years. Professor Andrews taught at Michigan State University and served as the Cooperative Extension Specialist in Food Safety for the State of Michigan before arriving at GRCC in 1993. 
Professor Andrews led the effort to develop a faculty evaluation system, served on the North Central Association team preparing and hosting accreditation visits, and quality leadership team guiding campus-wide improvements resulting in the college receiving multiple awards, including the Michigan Quality Leadership Award in 2007. Her honors include the 2001 Excellence in Education Award and the 2004 NISAD Excellence Award for Teaching. It is my great pleasure to bestow the 2021 Faculty Emeritus Award to Dr. Sandy Andrews. Please join me in watching this video tribute. Sandy was the consummate professional for all her different roles at GRCC. She was a proud alumnus of GRJC, as well as an award-winning teacher and a wonderful colleague and a respected leader. I noticed how uh, professional she was, the level of integrity that she brought to uh, everything that we did, uh, a true professional. For Sandy, going above and beyond was the norm for any task that she did. And throughout her career, she remained deeply dedicated to her students, to her department, and to the college. I, I think it's one of the highest recognitions uh, that we as professors can receive. It acknowledges the level of service that we offered during our career. Uh, it acknowledges what we achieved as professionals. And it says that we carried the, high, the highest standards throughout our career. She also even helped me as a content editor on one of the chapters in my books. And I got to see her scholarship and I got to see her uh, wonderful abilities as an editor, so that was really impressive too. I really admired her as an individual, uh, as a professor, and a leader at the college. Please join me in celebrating and honoring Dr. Andrews with your applause. Thank you. And now President Pink will introduce our Distinguished Alumni Award. Thank you, Dr. Knettel. Let me tell you about someone who is one of our tonight as we recognize as a Distinguished Alum. I want to tell you about someone, this man, who we're just very proud to call a GRCC Raider. Sekou Smith. Sekou attended Grand Rapids Junior College and Grand Rapids Community College between 1990 and 1992. After leaving GRCC, Smith attended Jackson State University where he became interested in journalism. His sports career started at the Clarion Ledger newspaper in Jackson, Mississippi. Then he worked for both the Indianapolis Start newspaper covering the Indiana Pacers and the Atlantic, Atlanta Journal Constitution paper covering the Atlanta Hawks, where he connected with the NBA's media teams. In recent years, Smith was analyst for NBA TV and a writer for NBA.com pinning the MVP weekly column and hosting the popular Hang Time podcast. Smith was known away from the court as a leader and supporter of the next generation of journalists. As a member of the National Association of Black Journalists, Smith mentored many colleagues throughout his career. ESPN reporter Tim Bontips wrote, Smith was universally be uh, beloved within the basketball world both for the work he produced in nearly two decades of covering the NBA and, more importantly, for being a kind, decent person, one with an ever-present smile and a wonderful laugh. Friends, tonight it's my great pleasure to bestow the 2021 Distinguished Alumni Award to Sekou Smith, but please watch this video so you can get to know him a little bit better. Sekou was 
man, just a nice man. He had a gentle spirit about himself. He had an unassuming spirit. Personally, I can't stop thinking about that just infectious smile he had and his boundless curiosity. So many times I watched him ask just one more question, and of course, that's when the real story would often come pouring out. Grand Rapids Community College um, helped to breathe life into Sekou. Sekou graduated from Grand Rapids Central High School when he was 17 years old and wasn't quite sure what his next journey would be. But he knew because we come from a tradition of Smiths attending Grand Rapids Community College and so he knew that that was his next step. He knew that GRCC helped to build his confidence to be able to leave his hometown and go off to Jackson State University. He took his first journalism class there, and once that happened, he knew that that was his calling. If you look back and you um, listen to him speak, he always talks about where we grew up, you know, 307 Auburn, that's where it started, right? And he talks about his journey into journalism and his journey just into life, coming from some of the greatest parents that you can have. You know, Walter and Estelle Smith raised some strong children and some very confident children. And I think that that was the start of it. And then being able to understand the importance of having the skills and tools that you need um, for that next level. When you're trying to parse the greatest of all the greats, nobody is ever going to give up their spot in that conversation. I've talked to enough of these guys to know they all want in. That's right. That's but that's right. our job. That's yep. what we do, yep. you know, to come back historically and put it in some kind of context. Yep. Sekou always talked about don't be afraid to ask questions, right? And don't be afraid to do the work. Um, he would also say, put your shoulders down. You know, don't always be so guarded. You know, be open for what's yours. Think about the zenith of whatever your professional career was. And you gotta ask yourself just personally, like how do I wanna be portrayed? Like do I wanna come off this way, that way? Do I wanna come off authentic? He woke up in the morning, he always said, I'm gonna take the first two minutes to think about someone else. You know, how can I give back and what can I do? Make sure you find a mentor and then be a mentor yourself. If you knew Seiko, you knew how important education was to him, and how much he valued mentoring, and also just enjoying his time with friends. So in addition to naming the press room at State Farm Arena after Seiko, we are also starting a very special internship where each year we're going to select a deserving student from an HBCU, send them to the NBA Summer League in Las Vegas to cover the team for Hawks.com, and also meet with a bunch of his peer journalists and get to learn the game from them. So congrats, graduates. You know, to the graduates, know that Grand Rapids Community College has prepared you and positioned you for greatness. You just have to walk in it. I think this is what he would say if he was here. Several months ago, we lost Sekou to this horrible virus that we're fighting right now. And chances are tonight that Sekou's family are watching this very ceremony. So if you would please honor Sekou this evening, our Distinguished Alumni Award at this time with your applause, Sekou Smith. Thank you. So graduates, our Distinguished Board of Trustees who, does, who do such a good job of taking care of this institution They'd like to share in today's event, so please join me in watching this video as they pay tribute to you, our Board of Trustees. There's something truly magical when you walk across this stage. This walk sets you apart from so many who will never have this opportunity. You now join thousands who have walked before you who are making significant contributions to the communities where life has taken them. As you take your next steps on this walk, we look forward to seeing your contribution to the communities and institutions your life takes you. Congratulations and best wishes on your next steps.
Class of 2021, congratulations. I can't wait to see what you do next for our community. Keep up the hard work and stay in touch. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Kenyatta Brame, and I have the pleasure of serving as a trustee for the Grand Rapids Community College. One of the great privileges of being a trustee is participating in this grand celebration we call graduation. Usually we pack the gym tight with our friends and family, staff and faculty. There are lots of hugs of joy, high fives, fist bumps, and I usually have the honor of shaking your hands. But that is not the case today. Although this is not a traditional graduation, the fact that we are not together because of the pandemic does not take away from this a significant accomplishment. In fact, it highlights the many things that you have overcome to get to where you are today. The class of 2021 is dealing with social change, political upheaval, and a virus that most of us have not experienced in our lifetimes. The fact that you have weathered these storms and still completed your studies only amplifies the significance of your accomplishments. You should be very proud of what you've done and know that your friends, family, community, and all of those that have supported you in your studies could not be more proud. As you move ahead to the next phase of your life, use the same perseverance that you used at the college and you will continue to be successful. It is an honor to serve as one of your trustees and congratulations to each and every one of you for leaving your mark on GRCC. Virtual fist bumps. Go Raiders. Thank you and congratulations. Dear graduates, thank you for this honor of being able to honor you, particularly in this difficult year and more that you graduated and accomplished what your goal was through self-discipline and hard work and a lot of probably family support as well. I know your family's proud of you. Our college is proud of you. And I, as an honored board member, am very proud of your accomplishments. I only wish that I had gone to community college. What a fine institution. Hold your head up high. You have indeed graduated from a great college. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations to you and all of your loved ones. This is a wonderful milestone that you have worked so hard for. May this moment not only serve you the credential that you've worked so hard for, but may it open up the world to you related to all the opportunities that the world has for you in our community. Walk courageously. Congratulations. Despite the unusual circumstances in which you are completing this important step in your educational journey, I wanna highlight what an achievement this truly is. This one is extra special as my sister is graduating with you. All right, Hallie! I continue to be amazed at the resilience of this community and your resolve to keep going, to keep working, to keep learning through all that this past year has thrown at us. Through all of it, you stand here today as graduates and I am in awe of your collective strength and so thrilled to see what you will achieve next. Always good to hear from our trustees and friends, please know they work very hard and they care a lot about this institution and it's only appropriate that we hear from them. So as any um, commencement ceremony that celebrates graduates would have, we would have a keynote speaker and we do have one tonight. A year or so ago, actually about a year and a half ago, I had asked Mr. Craig Hoekstra to be our commencement speaker for the 2020 graduation ceremony. Then COVID hit and we did a huge shift to our commencement ceremony last year. Well, I asked him, I said, you know what, since that really, we, he didn't, we didn't even get to have him as a speaker. I said, I want you to speak to our this year's graduates. And this year we're honored because Craig Hoekstra, GRCC alum and the superintendent of Wyoming Public Schools, he agreed and said, I'd love to speak to the graduates. And so we're honored tonight via video to hear from Craig Hoekstra, GRCC alum and superintendent of the Wyoming Public Schools. 
to the class of 2021. Congratulations. Now, as I say the word congratulations, it simply recognizes one's accomplishment. Hearing that word this year means a great deal more than a simple congratulatory acknowledgement, and it should. Be proud, be very proud of this important life accomplishment. This achievement is one that you've earned and wasn't handed to you. Some time ago, you set a goal and you worked hard and we are here to honor and celebrate you. Certainly you will take all the great things that came out of your GRCC experience and as you go forward and apply it to do great things in our world. My name is Craig Hookstra and I proudly serve as a superintendent of Wyoming Public Schools. Like you, I also got my start at Grand Rapids Community College. And to this day, I am very thankful and appreciative of the opportunity to learn and grow from the faculty and staff in pursuit of my dreams to become an educator. One of the many beautiful things about GRCC is that you are surrounded by kind, caring, and supportive folks that positively push you to work hard and persevere through the challenges to achieve what you set out to accomplish when you enrolled. Having this now a reality positions you for much success in your next endeavor. I encourage you to spend some time to reflect on your personal journey during your time here. As you work towards achieving your goal, you were courageous, resilient, responsive, patient, understanding, and extremely flexible due to life circumstances, many of which were out of your control during your time as a GRCC student. Yes, you gained skills and knowledge while at GRCC. But I feel most importantly, you achieved what you did because of a never give up commitment, especially during a global pandemic, because if you can earn a diploma or certificate during a very challenging time, anything in your future is absolutely achievable. Use this accomplishment as a point of reference in everything that you do moving forward. The sky's the limit, and I'm proud of you. We all are. As I stated, my journey started here at GRCC. As a non-traditional student with some life experiences under my belt, I went back to school with a purpose and a goal of becoming an educator. Like every road traveled, it certainly isn't always smooth going. There were long days and long nights, but like you, a never give up commitment made my dream achievable. In deciding to go back to school, like many, I needed to make some changes to achieve my dream. I worked a full-time job that was not conducive with going back to school. I needed to leave my day job because there were only so many night offerings to take classes. So I made a hard pivot and left my day job and became a school custodian in the school district I now serve as superintendent. With a young family, I needed to work and help provide for. So I worked as a school custodian for four and a half years and I earned my associate's degree in 1998 and then transferred to Grand Valley State University where I graduated in 2001 going to school during the day and working full-time at night. After graduating, I taught second grade for five years in Hamilton, Michigan, and loved it. It was everything I had hoped it would be. I then pursued my first administrative position as an elementary principal with Wyoming Public Schools with the goal of doing good, positive work at the building level. After three years in that position, I had the opportunity to go back to Hamilton and serve as a principal and curriculum director. After three years, I was recruited back to Wyoming as a principal and state and federal grants director. From there, I made the transition to central office as an assistant superintendent for instructional services. I share all of that, not to name the positions and titles I've held, but because I was that kid in school who put ceilings on myself, settling and not pushing myself. When I decided enough was enough, I made the personal commitment that I would only engage in things that would push me and not settle. Every transition I experienced was pushing my comfort zone and a commitment to grow to be better and stronger today as compared to yesterday. I wouldn't change a single thing. I was a proud custodian, I was a proud teacher, and today I continue to be a proud district leader who is blessed to be one of many adults who support our future community leaders. Transitions are hard, and every transition I experienced had tears streaming down my face because I care about the people I work alongside. Relationships are important and should never be undervalued. My time as a GRCC and GVSU student, custodian, teacher, and administrator taught me so much, with the common denominator being dreaming big, working hard, and making it happen. 
not for a position or a title, but most importantly, to make a positive difference in the lives of others. We all have one life and should live it out by pouring everything possible into each and every situation, leaving things better than we found them. It's all possible, and my greatest hope for you as you go forward is that you continue to set lofty goals, never settling, with an unwavering commitment to achieve what is important to you, your family, and making our community a better place to live because of your involvement and positive contributions. So take your GRCC experience and continue the proud legacy of this institution by leaving a positive and lasting impact because of your talent and gifts as you make our world a better place, knowing and being proud of being part of the GRCC family. Again, congratulations, we are all very proud of you. And I encourage you to take some time to thank your support system that helped make this achievement possible. Yes, it starts and stops with the person you see daily in the mirror, but life's work is so much more enjoyable and rewarding when we all lock arms and are committed to making our world a better place together. Congratulations to the class of 2021, and we welcome you to the GRCC family of alumni. Go Raiders, and I wish you all the very best. Would you give a round of applause for Craig Hoekstra? So I have one more thing that I want you to celebrate with me before we start directly celebrating you. I want to tell you something about a, uh, an initiative we've had on this campus for decades that you may not be aware of. This year marks 31 years of an organization that we are very proud to partner with. It is the Northrop Academy. Since 1989, Northrop Academy has been our partner in providing a post-secondary college experience in the arts and sciences for individuals with special needs. Tonight, I am extremely honored to confer honorary Associate of Arts degrees on three Northrop Academy students. They will be with us tomorrow at one of our ceremonies tomorrow, but I wanna let you know about these three individuals and I want you to, to uh, find out a little bit more about them on a short video. I want you to watch this as far as these three recipients are concerned. Their names, Andrew Strauss, Denise Zalzma, and Adam Zimdar. All three will be participating with us tomorrow. Take a look at this video so you can know better these three incredible individuals. Denise, she's a super great helper to have in class. And very, she's very dedicated to learning. Uh, she doesn't say a whole lot in class, but you can tell that she is absorbing it all. I think this is my 20, 20, 20th year with uh, North Hook Academy. Been there for 23 years. 17 years. Yeah. Adam has been a little bit of a, a spokesperson for us in the past. He has a kind heart, a really gentle soul, I would say. Uh, very good friend to everybody. We study animals, countries, and music. Andy is fun to have in class because he is very opinionated and I love that. He's always the person who will give us a different perspective. I, I like it, I like to learn these things. It's pretty cool. I like it, it's a place for special needs people to go and learn stuff. I like to be in person better than in Zoom, but I do like it. I think it's pretty cool that I get to do it on a computer, but other than that, I like to be in person. It's okay, because I like to go back to class. I think that it's uh, a wonderful honor, and it's something that means probably more to them because they have had to overcome so many obstacles to get here. I think it's really cool to be honored. I can't wait, and uh, that's my first time graduation. I think it represents the whole Grand Rapids Community College by graduating with a whole bunch, of, whole bunch of people, and I'm honored to do that today. 
I deserve it. Now, as, as I said, the three of them will join us at our ceremony tomorrow. But chances are, knowing these three, they are probably watching tonight, uh, live stream as well. So if you would, help me out by congratulating them with a round of applause. Okay, so now it's time to award diplomas. Okay, let me say it again. So now it's time to award you your diplomas. That's what I'm talking about. So this is the moment you've all been waiting for as we celebrate you, the 2021 graduates of GRCC, as you join thousands of other graduates who are proud GRCC alumni. On behalf of your GRCC community and your family and friends, I want to wish you the best as you take your next steps, whether that's to go on to a career, a continuing education at a university, or with some of you, you'll be doing both. You'll be going to work because of a degree that, or a certificate that you earned here, and at the same time, going on to the next school, whichever that is, we're still proud to call you alumni. So it's time for you to shine, and it's time for you to be announced as a college graduate. And so helping me out with this this evening, uh, for confirmation will be Provost Canettle and Dean Vargo. But before I begin, I need to call your attention to some of you who are wearing various special cords, medallions, and ribbons, just so you know uh, what those things mean. So students wearing gold ribbons with gold medallions are members of Delta Pi Alpha who graduate this evening in the top 5% of their class. Congratulations. Students wearing a blue ribbon with a medallion are members of Phi Theta Kappa International Honor Society, and I've earned a grade point average of 3.3 or better. Congratulations to you, too. Wearing blue and gold uh, cords are members of the GRCC Honors Program, and students wearing red, white, and blue cords are being honored for their service to our country. Thank you for your service. Students wearing blue and white cords are members of our Middle College program. Let me tell you what that's all about. Middle College is a partnership between GRCC and several public high schools uh, around the Kent County and West Michigan area that allows participating students in Middle College to earn a high school diploma and an associate degree all at the same time in four years. These students complete a 13th year of high school and when they finish that 13th year of high school, taking almost all GRCC courses, they finish with their high school diploma and their associate degree, and they pay nothing for tuition. It's an incredible program. And they go out of this institution and enter into a four-year institution as a junior or transfer, or even sometimes they go to work. So it's really neat for us to honor them tonight and have them graduating with us this evening. Now I'll tell you just a couple, of, uh, a couple of directions here. When you come up and your name is announced, there's a white X right there. And we have a photographer that'll wanna take a picture of you. I'll be standing here telling you congratulations. I leave it totally up to you. If you wanna fist bump with me for the, for the picture, I am more than happy to. But if you do not, it's okay, I'm not offended, I understand. But if you want that photo with me, at a, with a fist bump, I'm more than happy to do so. But just make sure you stop either way so the photographer can get a good Polaroid up. Well, I said Polaroid, didn't I? Sorry, that dated me right there, didn't it, Andrew? But if you want that picture, please stop right there so we can get a good picture of you. So, without any further ado, I'm gonna ask uh, Provost Canettle, who will be conferring the degrees to come to the stage, as well as uh, Dean Vargo to announce your names. Provost Canettle. Thank you. I am very excited to say, will the marshals now present the candidates who will graduate with an Associate of Arts, Associate of Fine Arts, Associate of Music, Associate of Science, and Associate of General Studies. It is my pleasure to announce that Dr. Michael Vargo, Dean of the School of Arts and Sciences, will present these candidates. Hello everyone, what an exciting night. Smith, Torres, Sanchez. Diana, C, DeYoung.
Rosa, Iris, Ramos. Madison M. Olenichek. Voka Ford. Ethan David McNeely. Brian Carell. Melissa Katrina Jones. Corey A. Demersky. Marla Joe Anderson. Cameron C. Murdoch. Kaylin R. Murdoch. Jessica Munoz. Riley Mitchell. Madeline Marie Scalance. Selena M. Feliciano Wheeler. Quinesia and Marie Brown. Megan Joy Postma. Renice Marie Eubanks Shambliss. Joseph Robert Williams. Rachel Ruth Walker. Elizabeth Lee Niederheide. Hallie Hosty. Al Curtis Hairston Jr. Sean M. Chase. Piper Michelle Gosnell. James A. Jones. Rosalie Runnels. Cassandra Frazier. Lorena Patricia Gomez Avendano. Shaterica Brooks. Lauren Steele Wilkinson. Noel D. Hernandez. Chris Gennaro Medina. Joanna Quintino. Udeli Vasquez Mazaragos. Nixon K. Delian Garcia. Karen E. Reyes Sufuentes. Jacqueline Lopez Bravo. Paulo Zepeda. Jacqueline Fabiola Suarez.
Ella Rose Brandt. Jaime Escalante. Nad Ayari. Brian M. Host. Caitlin Sierra Schmidt. Aurora Nicolasa Patterson. Marissa M. Schmidt. Brigan T. Petruska. Cassidy Danielle Marie Cole. Jonathan Jeffrey Longo. Nicholas Woodburn. Cesar Vargas. Carlos E. Caracheo Cruijo. Jose Antonio Barajas. Destiny Emily Carrera. Monica Gail Taylor. Hannah Danny Martinez. Kathleen Deirdre Susan Quayle. Shakoya Morris. Jamie Gomez. And now we're turning our attention to the screen as we honor the graduates who are participating with us virtually tonight. Brianna L. Adair. Cassandra S. Alberta. Elijah L. Babinski. Brooke Catherine Bateman. Kyrie Bia. Tommy D'Angelo Brown. Sheila N. Castro Hernandez. Anthony Clark Jr. Tracy M. Clark. Derek Tremaine Cliat. Rachel Cloud. Amanda Nyan Klaus. Haley Grace Pearl Dixon. Macy Ann Dykema. Alexandria Marie Dykstra. Iris M. Fisher. Mackenzie Fritz. Sydney Jane Gallup. Brenda Garcia Moreau. Maya Gendron. McKenna Rose Grassman. Connor James Reese Griffin. Sarah J. Hoxma. Megan M. Hume. Horia Ibrahim. Jasmine James. Isra Jadini. Ola Jadini. 
Brian Robert Johnson. Olivia G. Kamrat. Elijah Clipheis. Gideon Kortenhoven. Ashley Rose Cook. Jessica Lopez. Rebecca Marie Lubbers. Harleen Cower Mand. Alyssa J. Martin. Clarissa Noemi Mahata. Allison N. Maynard. Vivian Nguyen. DeAndre Nixon. Anthony Frank Odorchenko. Cindy Paramo. Sabrina Isabella Pequeño. Elizabeth Joy Postma. Tape Rath. Jennifer Reeder. Bailey R. Robidek. Selena Mercedes Romero. Letissa M. Sally. Sloan Delaney Scarberry. Noah Schonauer. Kalisha Seawood. Megan Elizabeth Shackelford. Carly Sharkey. Megan Elizabeth Sheldon. Sarah Jordan Sims. Hallie Sneed. Jordan Elizabeth Stegemoller. Megan L. Stussy. Tara L. Swick. Cesar A. Vargas Martinez. Genia Sue Vinton. Alexis Michelle Webster. Matthew B. Wedeven. Kayla Williams. Emily Taylor Wood. And Keely Ray Zimmer. Congratulations. Graduates, will you please stand? <clears throat> President Pink, upon the recommendation of the faculty of Grand Rapids Community College, I am honored and privileged to present the candidates for Associate of Arts, Associate of Applied Arts and Sciences, Associate of Business, Associate of Fine Arts, Associate of General Studies, Associate of Music, Associate of Nursing, Associate of Science, and Certificate Programs. By virtue of the authority vested in me, as President of Grand Rapids Community College, the Board of Trustees, and the laws of the State of Michigan, I now confer upon each of you the certificate, degree, and title as they apply to you individually, and cite you as being worthy of all the rights privileges, and responsibilities that come with this accomplishment. Graduates, you may now shift your tassel from right to left. Friends, I proudly present to you the 2021 graduating class of Grand Rapids Community College. Graduates, give yourselves a round of applause.
Please be seated. Well, that's about it, but before we leave, I, I, I've got to congratulate you on finishing what you started here some time ago. Congratulations. But let me ask you a question. So what? Big deal. So what? You graduated. You've got this diploma. You've got this certificate. So what? I'll, I'll tell you about in my office. I, I love to play. I, I love to play golf. In my office, I have a golf ball that a friend of mine years ago brought me back from the Masters golf tournament. He went to the Masters, and instead of taking me with him, he brought me back a golf ball from the Masters. So kind to him. And so I got that golf ball, and I was like, oh my goodness. And so ever since then, and this has been probably 10 to 15 years ago, ever since then, this golf ball has always been in my office. I put it on one of my shelves, and it just sits there. But the thing about a golf ball is that a golf ball really doesn't do a whole lot of good if it just sits on a shelf because it's not doing what it was meant to do. That golf ball has never been played with before. That golf ball has never been part of a putt that went in. Neither has it ever been part of this long tee shot that went two, three hundred yards. It hasn't done that. Why? Because the only thing it's done is sit on my shelf. Now that's a nice thing to do for a golf ball that is so cool that it's from the masters. That just sounds so cool. But a golf ball that sits on the shelf never gets to do what it's designed to do. Now if you take that degree, when you get that diploma, you can nice, put a nice frame around it and you can put that on your wall, you can put it on your shelf, and it will look good there. That's where the piece of paper belongs. But the key to what you did over these last several years, the key lies in the question, what's next? Because if all you do with this degree, if all you do with the education that you just earned is just let it sit, and you don't do anything with it, you don't leverage what it has done for you, it will be no better than that golf ball that sits on my shelf. You've earned a degree from an institution that has been sitting here in Grand Rapids. It has been here as this college longer than any other community college in the state of Michigan. You are on the oldest community college campus in the state, 105 years old. And it's one of the oldest in the country. What it means is that there's a lot that comes behind the degree that you have. There are a lot of institutions, four-year schools, that say, oh, you graduated from GRCC. Yes, please come. We want you here because we know if you finish GRCC, chances are not only are you going to finish here, but you're going to finish strong and make something of our degree as well. But if you just let this thing sit on a shelf, friends, it's not going to do you a bit of good. So your challenge then is not as much a so what, it's a what's next. What is next for you? Will it be that you now go and you use this degree for the job that we prepared you for and you just knock it out of the park? Or will it be that you go on to one of our great institutions, four-year institutions, a Grand Valley, a Western, a MSU, a Davenport, wherever it is, and you go there and you just knock that out of the park? Or some of you, as I said earlier, you may end up doing both those things. But the challenge to you tonight is that you make sure that what you have been prepared for, what you have been prepared to do as far as that education is concerned that you have from this institution, you don't let that thing just sit. You do something with that. You make us proud because you already do just by the fact that you finished. You saw three individuals. We talked, we honored three individuals tonight. Professor Andrews, incredible. Fair, faculty alum, Emeritus Award, that's incredible. GRCC alum. Sekou Smith, known across the country in NBA circles. GRCC alum. Craig Hoekstra, superintendent, Wyoming Public Schools, knocking it out of the park as a superintendent. GRCC alum. 
I love the fact that right now I may be talking to a future GRCC Faculty Emeritus Award winner. I could be speaking to a Distinguished Alumni Award winner in the future. I could be speaking to a commencement speaker at GRCC. I just love the fact that if any of you fill those gaps for us one day, I will be so proud and honored to have stood in front of you as you were graduating from this institution. So thank you. Thank you for being a Raider. Be a proud Raider. Tell people about what you did here. You tell others that the community college that sits downtown Grand Rapids, that's the place you ought to go because here's what it did for me. You tell others about this place. And come back to see us sometime because you're part of the GRCC family. And now you become part of the GRCC family of alumni. Thank you for what you've done in giving your time to us as we give you the gift of education. Thank you very much. Go Raiders. And I hope to see you again sometime soon. Graduates, you will be dismissed by Rose as we listen to the GRCC Concert Choir perform our alma mater, a performance recorded in advance. Congratulations again to the GRCC Class of 2021.